Good morning, my sister and brother, birthday We're here trusting that you are doing well. Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. And I forgot to put on the light on the tripod. Hold on. Here we are, here we are. It's a little bit brighter. So here we are. My granddaughter is has a different schedule. She's off completely off schedule, but nevertheless, let us get started. So how are you today? How are you today? So with that, let us get started. Bible study strengthens the intellect. Bible study strengthens the intellect. But before we go into that, let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Proverbs. Proverbs 30, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs 30, verses 5 and 6, and it reads, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. May the Lord add the blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So I have my granddaughter right here. She's on the bed. Right? Right? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Bible study strengthens the intellect. Father God, as we go into this lesson, Father God, I ask you to open our hearts and minds to receive a lesson today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It says, Bible study strengthens the intellect. Would, would you agree with that? Bible study strengthens the intellect. If you want to be intelligent, you need to read the Word of God. If you Anything you're looking for, you can find it, answer in the Word of God, my sister and brother. So whether you have a financial problem, relationship issue, uh, work issue, job issue, find it in the Word of God. Right? And it state here, the burden now is to convince soul of the truth. The burden now is to convince souls of the truth. This can best be done by personal efforts, by bringing the truth into their houses, praying with them, and opening to them the scriptures. Those who do this work should be just as careful not to become stereotyped in their plans of labor as should the minister who labors in the desk. They should be constantly learning. What should they be doing? They should be constantly learning. They should have a conscientious zeal to obtain the highest qualification to become able in the scriptures. They should cultivate habits of careful study and mental activity, giving themselves to prayer and to a diligent study of the scripture. Many are guilty of shortcoming on this point. The claims of God upon them are not small. But they are content with the limited understanding they have of the scripture and do not search to improve both mind and manner. <laughs> Hold on, I don't know what happened. Hold on. What's the matter? Okay, What's the matter? Did you scare yourself? Oh my. What's the matter? What did you do? Did you poke your poke your finger in your eyes? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's us continue. Let me see if I can do this with my baby in my arms. So it stayed here. Many are guilty of shortcoming on this point. The, cl the claims of God upon them are not small, but they are content with the limited understanding they have of the scripture and do not seek to improve both mind and manners. Every argument in prophetic history, every practical lesson given by Christ should be carefully studied that they may be wanting in nothing. The mind gains strength breath and acuteness by activity it must be it must be made to work or it will grow weak 
it must be made to work or it will go weak. It must be trained to think, to think uh, habitually and, or, and, and habitual, to think habitually, uh, meaning as an custom, or it will in a great measure lose its power to think. Let the mind wrestle with the difficult problems of the word of God and the intellect will be thoroughly awakened to bring forth not inferior discourse, but those that will be fresh and edifying. And these will be presented in the, let me see, in the passion of an active mind. She, he, she has here our fervor, fervor of an active mind, meaning passion of an active mind. The servant of Christ must meet the highest standard. Mm what did I say the servant of Christ must 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 meet the highest standard they are educator and they should be thoroughly versed in the scripture the study of the Bible tax the mind of the worker strengthen the memory and sharpening the intellect more than the study of all the subject which philosophers embraced the Bible contained the only truth that's purify the soul. And it is the best book for the intellectual uh, culture. Let me go back. Let me go back. The Bible contains the only truth that purifies the soul. And it is the best book for the intellectual cult culture. The dignified simplicity with which is handled important doctrine is just what every youth and every worker for Christ needs to teach them or her, let me go back, the dignified simplicity with which it handles important doctrine is just what every youth and every worker for Christ needs to teach him or her how to present the mysteries of salvation to those who are in darkness. So that concludes my sister, my brother. The Bible strengthens the, in, the, the intellect. The Bible strengthens the intellect. So with that, my sister, my brother, we need to study the scripture. We need to search the scripture. It states that we need to dig for it like we like for hidden treasures, treasures. We like we're digging for treasures. When we um, open the Bible, pray over it and ask the Lord for enlightenment for the Holy Spirit to come and give you the understanding that you need. So we don't need all these different versions in the, in the Bible. We need an understanding. We need the Holy Spirit to give us the understanding of the scripture, my sister and brother. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful day, Father God. I thank you for my brothers, my sisters that stopped by here today, Father God. You know our individual needs, you know our, our individual struggles, Father God. And we lay all of it at your feet, Father God. So, Father God, if we have said or done anything today that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you to wash us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. And, Father God, we are asking you for the strength the power, the joy, the peace that we need in these last days. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother. So with that, this is Birdie Worry. You can find me at birdiewarrior.com. I got my other glasses on. Find me at, uh, I can see the glare, I see the glare, I see the glare. So find me at birdiewarrior.com, and there you find a, a free ebook. You could download, you can purchase my book there as well. You can also follow me over YouTube on the Birdell Warrior. While you there, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so when my videos goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And I have something here, it says, um, the blessings of friendship. When someone knows, when someone knows someone they really can count on, someone who whom they can always depend. When someone knows someone who's care caring enough to completely relax with and never pretend, it's a blessing of a friendship. So it says, when someone knows someone they really can count on someone on whom they can always depend when someone knows someone who cares enough to completely relax and never pretend let me see if i could turn this over 
This is a card I got years, years ago. So let me see if I could take this off the wall. Finish it. Oh, let me take this off. Hold on. I got to stick to the wall. I don't know. I love cards. I love the inspiration that card gives. I don't know about you, my sister and brother. But it goes on. It says, when someone knows someone who makes life go better with laughter, they share and belonging, they lend. When someone knows someone who make them feel special, then they know the blessing of having a friend. And it goes on, it says, what better time than, than today to thank God for the blessing of a friend like you. And this is from, um, from one of my dear, dear friend, um, uh, the slushers. So I'm going to give them a shout out, the slushers. Um, so that was a card from them years, years ago. So it's good to, so I don't know, I like to save cards. Because it comes in handy, especially if we're having like a, a stressful day or you're having a depression day or you're stressed out. It tells you to relax, right? It tells you that you find a friend that you could count on. It tells you here that um, when you know a friend, um, they stay here. You can feel special. You feel special. You feel like you belong when you have a friend. So I hope, my sister, brother, that you have a friend that you can, it says here, to completely relax with and never pretend. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people into just pretend, pretending, pretending. My sister, brother, <laughs> being a child of God, we cannot be pretending. We got to be, we got to be. We got to be loving. We got to be kind. We got to be gentle. We got to be compassionate. We got to be humble, right? As a child of God, because he stayed here in our devotion. It says, that I even put it on my Facebook wall. It says the servant of Christ must meet the highest standard. It's a higher standard. So with that, my sister and brother, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. Make sure you follow me over YouTube. Uh, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, share, 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 share. Right? Oh my goodness, she's spitting up again. Share, share, share. So with that, my sister, brother, I love you. appreciate you. But before I go, let us do the four hugs for survival. Four, 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 four. So here we go. One. Oh, sorry, sweetie. One, two, three, four. So consider yourself hugged, right? Consider yourself hugged. So my grandbaby, she, I put her down a little while ago. She was down for like 20 minutes. And then I put her down before that time was like maybe 15 minutes. So like I said, she's not feeling well. So it's one of those days, but she just wants to be held because if you put her down, then she just wake up. So nevertheless, grandma is here. Grandma is on duty, right, sweetie? Grandma is on duty. So right now I'm making a pot of vegetable soup, making a pot of vegetable soup. And so with that, my sister, brother, so continue. And I'm also washing. So what are you doing? What are you doing? You might be at work, right? You might be driving, what? You might be uh, chauffeuring the kids back and forth, or you might be chauffeuring your husband, or what are you doing? Maybe you're cooking, cleaning, or maybe at the park, or maybe at the beach. Oh, I know, you might be in a hammock, just sipping on some fresh coconut. Coconut, and you're drinking a coconut water, right, right? That's what I need. I need to get some more coconut juice in. So I can't wait for the summer so I can buy a lot of that fresh coconut, you know, the ones that you got the the um, the meat inside. So I need to buy a lot of that this summer. So that is one of my goals. And then um, make a lot of um, watermelon juice. Watermelon juice. Can you imagine? That's one of the best uh, detoxers out there is a watermelon juice. But always buy the watermelon with the seed, with the seed, my sister and brother with the seed and then if you're eating your uh grapes don't don't juice the grapes eat the grapes and buy the grape grapes with the seed buy it with the seed okay it's the reason why god put the seed in the fruit okay so buy it with the seed my sister and brother and making sure that you are are taking care of yourself because if you don't, who will, right? If you don't take care of yourself, who will? How will you be able to take care of your family? How will you be able to 
hold and take care of your grandkids or your children? How would you be able to do if you are not taking care of yourself? So uh, uh, you are the most important person on this planet. You, yes, you are. You are the most important person on this planet because without you, there wouldn't be, life would be not, well, life would not be the same without you. So I love you. Appreciate you. Until tomorrow, let's see. I keep on thinking how my, my schedule changed today. <laughs> it was like, boo, my schedule just changed today. Um, so with that, my sister and brother, so you just got to take it one moment because there's a song, one day at a, one day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's, that's a beautiful song. I really like, that's one of my favorite songs. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, but one day at a time, but actually it should be one moment at a time because we never know if we're going to be here for the next moment. Does that make sense? One moment at a time. I, one day at a time is too long. One moment at one moment at a time. We need to give God praise, honor, and glory. Until then, my sister and brother, I love you. Appreciate you. Take care. Say bye, babe. Say bye. Say I'm enjoying my grandma. See? She is enjoying her grandma. So that's all she wanted to be. She just wanted to be held. And she liked to look at everything. She's like, I think she's going to be a detective. What do you think? She likes to look at everything and then if you're in the kitchen cooking and she's and you have her laying down in her in her um in her bed then she's like oh, what's just going on there and then she then she uh start making sound for you to go pick her up because she wants to see what she's doing <laughs> it's amazing it's nothing like being uh being able to take care of your grandkids or even your kids so i love you until tomorrow